Hi, my name is Lars from Trendlock. Today in this video I would like to show you how you can grab data from a universal robot like this one working, connect it to a Trendlock collector and send data to the cloud and make a dashboard similar to this one. Now I would like to load in a program where I pre-programmed everything so that we are now not only logging values when the machine is running but it's we are also logging every time the, the machine or the robot has stopped and we know exactly how long time it stopped so i prepared one i will show you here the values lots of values in here and there is a little program here where we are counting the seconds that the machine has stopped and when the machine is running the, also the number of seconds that the machine is running or the robot is running quite a small program. Okay, now I activate the settings. Like that. Great, everything is working. The trend log collector is restarting. Let's go to monitor and see how everything goes. I have, of course, to restart the robot program to make sure that the count signal is sent to the trend log collector. Perfect. Go. Let's have a look at the monitor now. So you see the count signals there. We have a run signal. It goes into the input. The run is one here. This and we are counting the runtime at the moment. One every all the seconds that the robot has been that has been running since we created this program. Right now the stop time is on zero. But if I stop the robot here, stop. Let's go and see what the stop time says now. Now you see it the run signal is zero and the stop time is now increased by the number of seconds that the machine has been or the robot has been stopped. We have also the count, the run, and we now have put the stop time into the live signals. Let's create a new feed. with the stop time. So now we want to display the current stop time. So, okay, I put in here the feed and the stop time. Like this, fine. Oh, we see now here, the stop time actually is sent it already. So this is the current stop time that is sent to the platform. Great. When I start it again, you see the stop signal actually goes to zero and the start, the run signal goes to one. And now we have the count signal as well. So. Perfect. I've already created the uh, stop sign where we are showing the current stop uh, the stop time so let's go in and edit so you can see it um, we are the input feed is the top time and the time or oh, this the select view is the current view that's it and of course we have done a little of javascript to make sure that the seconds is displayed in hours, minutes and seconds. Great. Now we can put this trend view to our dashboard or trend port. Go and edit. We add a new view. And we select the stop time trend view. There it is. 
things fine. Oh, I see the, the value already comes in, so the robot is stopped. Okay, perfect. Now we try and start the robot again. So you see, it goes immediately to run state and the current stop time goes to zero. So that's it. That's how you can create very fast a connection between the UR robot and um, the Trendlog collector and send the data to the Trendlog platform and make a trend board that shows the current state of the robot.